The Calvary is coming. Some big names rejoin the Yankees for their weekend set with the Dodgers. A young Yankee gets a chance to reset in the minors. And what's next for the Yankees' big free agent pitching acquisition of the winter? That's all coming up now. I'm Brian Hope, and you're watching Beat Report. Seat packs and tray tables in the upright and locked position, please. John Carlos Stanton, Josh Donaldson, and Tommy Canley all boarded a flight from JFK Airport on Wednesday, bound for the West Coast, where they'll be on the active roster for Friday's series opener against the Dodgers at Dodger Stadium. Stanton and Donaldson haven't played in big league games since April due to hamstring strains, while Canley will be making his first big league pitches of the season whenever manager Aaron Boone calls him in from the bullpen. Those additions figure to strengthen a roster that has been rolling of late, having won 15 of 22 games since Aaron Judge returned from the injured list. They're 10 games over 500 after taking two of three from the Mariners in Seattle. Boone said that he envisions Donaldson returning to an everyday role in the lineup, which means they'll take some third base reps away from DJ LeMahieu. That's especially true because Stanton is expected to serve as the designated hitter for at least a couple of weeks when the Yankees plan to gradually increase his outfield play. It's a homecoming for Stanton, who grew up here in Los Angeles and, of course, was the most valuable player of last year's All-Star game at Chavez Ravine. What goes up must come down, and the Yankees had to make roster moves to reinstate Stanton, Donaldson, and Canley from the IL. Oswaldo Cabrera was among those as the 24-year-old infielder-outfielder was optioned to AAA on Thursday afternoon. Cabrera provided a welcome spark after being called up last August, posting a 740 OPS in 44 games, including a memorable leaping catch at the right field wall that he called the greatest moment of my career. But it's been a rough go so far in 2023 for the switch hitter, who edged the since-released Aaron Hicks to serve as the opening day left fielder, but has batted just 195 in 50 games. Yankees manager Aaron Boone said that part of surviving and ultimately thriving at the big league level is being able to make adjustments as the league adjusts to you. Boone added that Cabrera has a great head on his shoulders and is a really good player, so we'll just continue to work with him to make those adjustments. Finally, Carlos Rodon is traveling with the Yankees on this West Coast trip. In fact, he's scheduled to throw from a bullpen mound again on Friday at Dodger Stadium, which will mark the second time Rodon has done so since he received treatment for a stiff back. Rodon's back is feeling much better. His velocity and command have improved, and now it's just a matter of getting him onto a mound and facing a minor league lineup. The thought is that Rodon could be back to facing hitters in live batting practice when the Yankees return home to New York, and once you see him pitching for a farm club, it'll really be time to get excited. Rodon signed a six-year, $162 million deal with the Yankees in December, which general manager Brian Cashman acknowledged during the press conference carried risk given Rodon's injury history. Rodon said he's champing at the bit to make his debut, saying, I'd rather be pitching and on the mound and competing right now. That will do it for this edition of Beat Report. Thank you for watching. For all of your baseball news, please read MLB.com and watch MLB Network.